super excited we've been up since a sparrow fart for very good reason we're going to lake meston lake meston apparently holds some big rainbow trout so hopefully we get a few guys we're camping for two nights let's get them eh Fuck yeah. all righty so packing for lake meston um i think i've got most things here there's a few things i'm missing um but um, we'll go with the 70, 70 litre backpack, you need that, um, especially for multi days. We'll be two nights out there, some bowls, um, take your food out of, probably unnecessary, especially when you're gonna eat them out of the pack themselves, um, especially your noodles and your, and your canned food, you just eat straight out of them. So they're probably unnecessary. I'll probably, probably only gonna take one actually, I might bugger that off. Got your tent uh it's a one-man tent make sure everything's there poles mat um uh your, p uh, your pins your covers etc garbage bag one pillow phone hopefully don't forget that um there won't be much reception at lake meston so do take note um we've got the uh wicking towel keep yourself dry Got your power bank with an iPhone cable, tackle box. Um, not pictured as my rod, but I'll definitely be taking the rod. And Ross will be taking his fly rod and spin rod. Coffee, food. Now, I've only got this here, but I'm going to get um, some noodles, fruit, um, canned food. That's going to be all in there too, and I'm going to cram the bag <laughs> as much as I can. You're better off taking plenty of food. Um, GoPro cable to recharge the GoPro for filming. Um, I already mentioned the pillow, the bag, fork, knife, um, batteries, spare batteries, make sure your appliances work, um, torch, GPS, EPIRB. Three important things that I'll be taking. Dry sack, I'll probably put my electricals in the dry sack. Okay, clothing, you know, you've got your warm, warm clothing, um, etc. Socks, spare undies, gloves, um, We've got our hats, beanie, and neck scarf. Now, obviously, I'm going to take a bit more clothing than this, but I'm just showing you a select few. Um, you know, take your hiking pack, uh, hiking pants, shorts, etc. Water bottle. Um, some people will have to bring, depending on where you're going, you might have to bring um, um, facility or uh, equipment to distill, uh, clean your water, especially if the water's not clean, but we're camping in, a, in an area where the water's fairly clean, so we should be right. Should be plenty of water at Lake Meston. Um, jet boil, cup, hiking mat. Some people have the inflating hiking mats. I'm going to give this bad boy a go. Uh, the foldable mat, probably not as good, but hey, it's, it's cheap as chips, so we'll run with that. Hiking sleeping bag. Now I've got this more of a summer one. Um, Ross has got a more thicker one, which is up to minus five degrees. Um, I'd rather Ross's, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tough it out. It is summer, so hopefully we won't be needing minus five. Wet weather gear, gaiters. Um, yeah, this is most of the gear I'm taking. Um, not shown is the obviously the hiking boots and footwear but I might add a few more clothing to that and definitely gonna add more food. So yeah, this is the gear we're taking up to Lake Nestor. Packed, ready to go. Multi-day packs, the rods, boots, let's roll. Okay, start of the trailhead right at the end of uh, Mersey River Road and we'll be taking the hike from here. We've got Nessian Peak over there. We'll get our gear on, yeah. get ready to roll. Well, Ross and I are very kitted out, look at him. He's got the rod, the fly rod. It's been 100 metres and my back's fucked already. He's buggered already, we're gonna turn back.
Nice. Hard yakker at the start. Bit of uh, elevation again. Whew. Hard work when you got a full pack. Nice day though. Definitely insane. Phew. So last time I came here in, I believe it was 2019, it's very, um, very burnt. And but now it's a bit of green coming back, which is good to see. Bit of regrowth. Yeah, so we've, um, I'd say about 30, 40 minutes in, we've reached this little canyon area. Uh, from memory, we're gonna go through that gap here. Um, you'd have uh, a creek coming through here, Jackson Creek. Um, over the over the side, other side of that ridge line would be Lake Bill as well. But yeah, magical, beautiful day. Once we get up to the top, we'll see more Mount Raguna and getting closer to Lake Myrtle and Lake Meston. Beautiful. How you feeling, Roscoe? Yeah, it's, it's a bit um, fish. You know, you haven't you haven't done a hike like this with a big pack before. It can be pretty tiring first time, which I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sore. But um, if we can get it done and get to the end of this road, then we should be able to get in, into some nice hot, uh, some nice trout, hopefully. So yeah, it'll be all worth it in the end. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's what we push hard for. And uh, for yeah, you guys watching, subscribe. We uh, we do a lot of work, so. <laughs> Uh, help us uh, out. Sunsea here. Mount Pillinger, Cathedral Mountain, Twin Spires, I believe, over the back. Just a little bit more to go up to this ridge line, and then we'll traverse. Eww. Two hours in, starting to get good glimpses of Mount Raguna. Looking magical up there. Let's see if I can get up there tonight when the sun sets. Get some magic views up there. Alrighty, we can see Lake Myrtle, absolutely looking beautiful. Mount Raguna. Nearly at the sort of uh, creek crossing, we'll have a break and then might even have a little fish at Lake Myrtle for a bit. Here we are, Lake Myrtle Campground. And as the name suggests, Lake Myrtle. Look at the blue on it. Oh, what a mission, but geez, it's worth it. Look at that water. Lake Myrtle and Mount Raguna. All right, so I've got old faithful on. Roscoe's going to go with this little colour scheme. Oh, look at that water. Let's see what happens. Wade in barefoot to Lake Myrtle. See if we can snap a trout. Come on, you bastard. Come on. Yeah, so I had a little fish here. No good, but um, I'm sure it would fish better in the morning or closer to dusk maybe a bit of fly action but um yeah nothing was hitting our lures so we'll move on to lake mess and hut claim that bad boy and um yeah set up camp and keep fishing mount raguna to the right i reckon it won't be long before we'll head straight down there towards lake mess and it's a beautiful day out here Woo. So we've come to a point here, it's quite easy to get confused. Now these uh, rock cans here, um, they will signify going to Mount Raguna Summit. And we believe the rock can to the left down there will be down to Lake Meston Hut. Okay. Hopefully that's right, but it makes logical sense. Because we don't want to do Mount Raguna today, we'll do it another time. We'll head down towards uh, uh, Meston Hut, Lake Meston. Fairly close to Lake Mist and Hut. Beautiful little spot here. I remember this bit. Lake Mist and another 20 minutes or I'd say five minutes and we're there. In real back country. God's yeah. country out here. Deep in the heart here. Deep in the heart. Beautiful metal wood forest. Whew. Nearly at the hut. Lake Meston Hut. This will be our home for a couple of nights. Whew. It's got a bit of timber there. Oh. 
Oh, yep, and it's free. Uh, cool. Is there a bunk bed in there? Yeah, the bunk bed's not that great. Whatever. Usually I like to get the top bunk, but it looks a bit dodgy. But it will do. First glimpse lake. at lake. Oh, Messed it. Oh, looks delicious. Oh, it looks pretty um nice shallow. Doesn't you know? Looks like a nice sandy bottom on yeah, the side there. Yeah. So our first bit of action, Ross got a follow up from two pan sized rainbows on his minnow, but um, they didn't take it. But yeah, it's good to finally see a couple of fish. So, in this beautiful little cove here of Lake Meston, Ross had a massive rainbow trout like work in the shore, work towards him. We flicked the lure to him, he was, wasn't interested, but he, he could be after flies, so probably worth chucking a fly in on dusk. See if we can get onto a big one. But yeah, it's good to see a nice big rainbow trout in the beautiful pristine waters. Alright, uh, dinner is being served. Ross is boiling water. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm having. You're having oh, hot water, mate. And I'm having noodles. Now, Ross is actually going to have this bad boy tonight. Cuss of beef. Beautiful. About 6.30 here at Lake Meston. Yeah, so uh, no luck so far on our first day out here. Um, we are going to have a bit of a dusk fish, aren't we, Ross? Yeah, try and get onto a few. Yep. Um, we're going to change the laws around. Uh, I'm going to go with a bit of a pink, and Ross is going to go a bit of a brown, uh, black and gold. Did um, I one? No, I didn't. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Beautiful Saturday morning on Lake Meston. Bit of mist and fog on there. Plan is to have breakfast, wade and start fishing again. So we'll bring the fly rod this morning. So Ross's collection. Um, what have you got, Ross? Oh, I've got another case full of flies, but not hits over there. Uh, a couple of beetles. I've been recommended these beetles for some of these... Um, Sort of remote lakes, yeah, yeah, you know, yep. lakes. Um, so you got the I'm beetle. not sure what these are imitating, but apparently these go pretty well. It's made out a bit deep fur and stuff. Um, yep. beetle, the red tag, yeah, probably cut the red tag down a little bit though. It's a little bit, yep, it's a little bit big. And your stick caddis, um, yeah, and a bit of stick caddis. If all else fails, stick caddis should. They should definitely take a bit of stick caddis. This yep. will just sink to the bottom and they'll find it and eat it. Yeah, okay. So it's just got yep. a bit of, a bit of yellow on it as well. Yep, yep. First cast on Saturday morning. Look at the water, absolute glass. And hopefully a rainbow straight off the bat. That'd be nice. So we are going towards the southern end of Lake Meston. No hits as of yet. We've seen a few tr rainbow trout rise. We did see one 10, 10 pound plus rainbow. Just follow me in. Did nothing. Um, and we saw a four or five pound rainbow cruising, which we unfortunately spooked. So, yep, she's she's hard going. The water's really clear, so the fish are easily to be disturbed. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll keep going and see if we can get one. It's still a beautiful, beautiful lake, beautiful country up here. Oh, I've got a big rainbow right here. He's about, he's about, uh, 10 pound. Yep. Huge rainbow. Oh my goodness. He's 10 pound. Yep. Yep. Look at this bad boy. 
just saw this black shadow just come up and eat it. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness me. Finally on the one. Like it. Good fish. Get him in. You, <laughs> you beauty. Finally onto one. <sighs> Get him in here. Not playing up a lot, but it's good fish. Get him in. <laughs> you beauty. We finally got one and he took the black and gold soft plastic. I oh. can't pull the tail, it's fucking fat. I can't get my hands around him. Look at that. <laughs> Big. Has he still got the, no he's dropped it. He's dropped it, yeah. Huge. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Look at him. Yep. All right. Catch and release this bad boy. Another one, Roscoe. <laughs> he loved it. Yeah. Roscoe's on to his first. Lake missed it. Whoa! Oh, no. Broke off. Broke off. Oh. Got off. He's down here, son. Roscoe's on to his first. Like oh. oh Jesus Christ. Oh no. Broke off. Broke off. Oh. Guys, um, we finally got some action with the rainbows. Um, they are taking the black and gold soft plastic. So we know what they're after. We're putting the minnows and the fly away. Um, because we just got pretty much nearly got two stonker rainbows in the space of 10 minutes just on that black and gold soft softy so we know what they're taking and uh yeah that's what we'll be using for the rest of the trip see if we get a few more got another one got a rainbow fuck it's taking me for right here oh ross Look how big he is. He's a stonker. He's a stonker too. Holy Moses. I've got another big rainbow trout here. Roscoe. Look at him. Took me for a bit of a burnt. Another huge rainbow trout. Yeah, he's not bad. Not as big as your first, but Huh? Goodness me. Oh. I'm trying to get him in here. Yeah, Doesn't want to come in. Mate. Coming in towards you. 
Come on. Come on. Left. Get him. Nice. Jez has got another one. Yeah. Oh, solid. Solid. Yeah. Another huge rainbow trout. No, he's, yeah, he's not bad. It's not as big as your first, but it's still decent. Can you drive? I'll try and get him in now, mate. Got him! What a horse! Jeez, they're thick, mate. Oh. Another big rainbow. Bit deformed, but it's huge. Look at that. They're wild fish. <laughs> Whoa! Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful spot. I know I've said that a few times, but I'll keep saying it. It deserves it. Old Roscoe having a fire. Can't help himself. At the fire lake, missed it hut. So, um, yeah, we got uh, two on the soft plastic. Lost, Ross lost one. But, um, yeah, we finally got some fish. We we're a little bit worried that we we're going to get F all, but it's good that we end up getting a few for you guys to check out. Um, we're going to have one more night here. We're going to have a feed, and then we're going to bugger off in the morning. But we'll leave you guys here. Thanks for tagging along. Hope you enjoyed the Lake Meston. <laughs> well, what would you call it these days? Lake Meston vlog or whatever it is. Yeah, be a vlog. Know, yeah. Vlog. Um, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hope you... Yeah, if you do come out here, um, treat the hut with respect and take all your rubbish, which yeah. we'll certainly do. Yeah. And, um, yeah, if you... If you get one of those big rainbow trout, be sure to take a photo of her and share it on the old uh, Facebook. If you, get one, if you get one, you'll, uh, you'll know about it. They're big and uh, <laughs> they're hungry. They're tuners, the size of tuners. But yeah, yep, uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. Where are we going next, Roscoe? Uh, Southport, I think. No, oh, Southport next. Southport Lagoon. Mm, we'll Southport. see you there. All right, cheers for, yep. for uh, tuning in. Till next one. Oh, yeah.